Hi, welcome to this video tutorial on floating point binary. Now, yes, you're probably noticing that this isn't in the usual format of my other videos, uh, but this is a video that I've already taught with my sixth form students that I kind of want to use to help them understand and go back to floating point binary. So we're going to talk about converting from deanery to floating point. And the things that you need to remember, uh, if you move the, the point right, we're going to end up with a negative exponent and left normalization means a positive exponent. And that will become clear in a moment. So the first thing, I'm going to break down ANTS exam questions with you so you can understand it. So what we've got here is we want to represent the number seven. Now, what, we, what I would say is start off with, remember we're using two's complement, so two's complement is this far left digit represents a place value and is a negative number. So start off with your whole number as you would and the place value. So I've got eight bits and I've remembered that the eighth bit on the end is negative minus one, two, eight. And what I tend to do is put the decimal point right at the beginning of it. Now, what you need to remember is that you need to normalize. So a normalization is where the bits are different. So here you've got the zero and the one which are different. So what I've done is move the decimal point one, two, three places in order to actually get my exponent. So I know that my exponent is now three. What you've got here is normalize. I've run 0.111 and then I've padded out with zeros at the end. So you can notice that I've moved three places to normalize it, okay? And that is why the exponent is three. So that would be zero, zero, one, one, okay? Now, moving on. What you should have ended up with is the number seven. So if you imagine the place would be there, zero point one, 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 zero 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 because I padded it out an exponent of zero zero one one that's what you should have ended up with to working that number out remember to always check this in your exam eight bit and four bit mantisa okay there's been many questions where you've had part a b and c and what people have done is they forgot to read on and just continued now the next thing we're going to do is we want to work out minus 0.375 now in the lesson i taught you the division the multiplying by two technique to get to whole numbers so what you start off with is the 0.375 multiply it by two so i've ignored the negative at this point multiply it by two which is 0.75 they haven't got a whole number yet now if i multiply 0.75 by two i get 1.5 so what i do is i keep the one carry the 0.5 0.5 by 2 is 1, so that's a whole number. So when you represent your number, you get 0 0.011, okay? But that's wrong because it's a positive number. And what we need to do is make that a negative number because that is obviously not going to work out right. So you've worked out what 0 0.375 is. You pad it out with zeros as shown here then you it, apply one's complement to it so that means you invert all of the ones to become zeros and all the zeros to become one so notice the difference between two and three now you add one to the total which is what i've done here so your answer would become 1.101000000 now you need to remember that this needs to be normalized now okay so what you need to do is you need to move in order to normalize that and to get it so that it's two different places all right this time i've got to move that to the right so that it becomes 11.01 so normalize now you have 10100000 one zero, one zero, 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 zero. pad it with a zero on the end here and it's important to note, many of you might be, how does that work? The computer works it out for you when it converts it back. Now you've got the normalized mantisa, you need to remember which way that we moved. So normalizing to the right means that we're going to have a negative exponent. And we moved one place. 
Therefore, your exponent is 1, 1, 1, 1, because we've got 1, 2, 4, minus 8. Add the 4, 2, and the 1 to that, and you've got a minus 1. So we're going to move on to the next slide now. Feel, feel free to pause that and try other sums to see how you get on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work out minus 63.5 and represent that with an 8-bit mantissa and a 4-bit exponent. So what we do is we work out, again, you start with a positive number. You work out 63.5 with 8 bits, because remember we've said here an 8-bit mantissa and a 4-bit exponent. So I've worked out what 63 is. I've done that on its own. And that is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And I've put the decimal point in there really to help you visualize what it's looking like to begin with. Then work out what 0.5 is, which is just 1. Okay? Because remember what I said here that you end up with a half. Okay? So what I've ended up with is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, going to move on to that because obviously we're going to need to invert it and add 1 to it to work out what our exponent is and then normalize it. So let's do that again. So what I've done, so you can see here, is I've applied 1's complement to it, otherwise known as an inversion. So you can see that that 1 becomes a 0, that 1 becomes a 0, that 1 becomes a 0, 1 becomes a 0, 1 becomes a 0, and so on. Then you add 1 to that bottom figure there, add 1 to it, so it becomes 1100000.1. 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then obviously that's not normalized. This time we can go to the left to normalize it. So I've moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to normalize that, which is a plus 6. Therefore our exponent is equal to 6. What you should end up with is 1100001. One, zero, 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 one. The far left one drops from the end, okay? And your final answer is 1.00001. Zero, 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 one. So you should put your answer down as that. You've moved left six places, so therefore your exponent is six. Maybe try it with 64.5, 66.5, and see if you get a similar answer and to see how things work out. But that's how you work out minus 63.5. So now attempt some of these questions. Maybe press pause to see how you get on. But you might notice something about this last question. Press pause. Try these out and see how you get on. These were the answers to the questions so that you can try them out yourself and do some exam preparation. Notice the question at the bottom is talking about accuracy. You need at least two more bits to the mantissa or mantissa in order for the question to be completely accurate. Otherwise, you're going to lose accuracy and you need to be able to make a point of that in the exam. I really hope that this video has been useful for you to go back onto floating point binary. It will be great for you to look back over this before you do your exam. Good luck. See you soon. And thanks for watching. If these videos have been helpful, please subscribe below.